Hi guys, this is Chi. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will make some matcha caramel pudding. Or let's name it as matcha flan. Easier that way. The ingredients are so simple. We will not be needing any condensed milk as long as you have whole milk or half and half. That should be enough and for sugar. And even if you don't have a matcha powder, it's still so good. And we're trying to achieve that silkier and a smoother and light texture. So I hope you will try this at home and I hope you will like it. I'm so excited. Let's get started. Mm. So for the caramel sauce, it's best to use white sugar, but I ran out of it. But good thing I have light brown sugar, so that's what we will use. Uh, I just added sugar and water, and without stirring it, let's squeeze some lime, or you can also use lemon juice. And just wait for it to boil until it turns into this nice amber color. You actually want to make sure that you watch out for this because you don't want it to taste bitter. Pour your caramel into your ramekins equally. In this recipe, you could only use about four ramekins, but I use about six of them because I don't want too much caramel in each one of them. So it's really up to you, but this works for me. Now we will just have to warm up our half and half milk. I always have this in the fridge because I drink coffee every day with half and half. And actually, it's good for the plant as well because it's a combination of cream and, and milk. So that, that taste uh, will taste better. So while heating up the milk, add now your matcha powder and strain it so it would easily be dissolved. So I actually strain it for about two to three times because this is my second attempt. My first attempt was so bad. I, I only strained it for about once and my strainer wasn't really good. And I learned that matcha powder doesn't really dissolve well or liquefy. So there's always some lumps of the powder left. So that's why I'm, I'm straining it a couple of times. Otherwise, you will see those visible bubbles in the custard and the texture is ugly. So you don't want to make the same mistake as I did. So hopefully this video would help you out.
So I took one of them from the fridge after 3 hours and placed it in a small bowl with boiling water and let it stand for about 2 to 5 minutes. This way the caramel would melt and it would be easier to unmold. Now you would run uh, like a bread knife around the inside edge of a ramekin slowly but surely and place a plate on top of it, flip it over, a little tap and ta-da! Look at that! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to try it now! Okay guys, look at that texture! I'm so glad I did this in my second attempt. The layer and the color of the match of land that I was really expecting to see. You should try this at home guys, it's so easy and yummy. Oh my gosh, it's so good! Alright, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!